I'm Buff Grubb with Mad River Canoe Company, and I'm here with the uh, really the iconic boat of the Mad River Canoe Line. This is the Explorer. The Explorer has been in the uh, in the product line since the mid 1970s. It was designed by Jim Henry, the founder of the company, and was conceived to be the most versatile canoe possible. Um, and Jim largely succeeded in that, as evidenced by the fact of its longevity and the fact that it remains one of our most popular models. The Explorer has lived up to its its reputation for versatility. The Royal X Explorer was the first open canoe that was paddled down the Grand Canyon back in 1976. Um, and in its Kevlar iteration, as you see here, it makes a great touring, tripping, cruising boat. Uh, it's got enough gear capacity to spend a couple weeks in the Boundary Waters or other remote areas, um, as well as makes a nice daytime, daily family boat. So there's a lot of reasons to like the Explorer, and it's been a target of a lot of imitation. Due to the popularity of the, of the Explorer and the success of, of the design, we make quite a few different models of the Explorer. Um, what you have here in front of you is the Kevlar Expedition model. We also make it in an ultralight Kevlar, which reduces the weight by about another 10 pounds and is there for basically people that really want to minimize their weight, that maybe are more ambitious about where they want to trip, um, facing longer portages, want to get back into smaller, more remote waters. That extra 10 pounds makes a big difference. We also execute this boat in a Royal X edition, which is probably the one that is most popular in terms of numbers. Um, and that boat's just a hair under 16 foot, same width, same hull design. Um, very, very competent boat. It does very well in white water up to class three, does fine on lakes, uh, tracks pretty well. And the nice thing about a Royal X version is that it's carefree. You can bang it off a rock and not cringe or anything like that. Um, we also do it as a 15-foot Explorer in Royal X, which is a little bit more nimble. It doesn't crack the track quite as well, but it's a great boat for twisty waterways like the sloughs and marshes, or you know, if you're in a little tighter uh, river with current, it turns a little better. It's just a little bit smaller, a little bit more agile boat. And all of them have proven to be very, very successful in executing what they're designed to do. The Explorer we have here is uh, built out in Mad River's traditional wood. Uh, what we use here is the gunnels are a native white ash, um, basically out of the New England area. Ash is a, is a very good material to use for canoe gunnel. It's a limber hardwood. Uh, it can be flexed, but it has strength and stiffness to it. And another big advantage is it has long linear grain. If you follow the grain down the length, a lot of times you'll start with the grain and it'll follow all the way down the other end of the boat, which creates strength and uh, the ability to of the wood to flex under impact or under stress. Uh, the decks are beach. There is a ash carry handle. The bow seat is a contoured seat. It's ash framed with cane. Very traditional looking but also very functional. It's extremely lightweight. The cane obviously with all the holes in it drains water very quickly and it dries quickly. We use a contoured shape as you can see here. It enhances your, your positioning, your stability of positioning when the boat but also, the Explorer is a symmetrical hull so that it can be paddled backwards effectively. So if you're soloing this boat, uh, you want to basically sit in this seat and face towards the stern and paddle the boat that way. The contoured seat allows you to do that. At the center point, we have a contoured yoke. You see it has a drape in it as well, and it's not just ornamental. That is also there to enhance the, the uh, carrying capacity. And the stern seat is also cane with an ash frame, but it is what we call a bucket seat. It has a rise in the center. It's basically unidirectional. You're going to sit in it here and you're going to face that way. So we use different seats to basically to align them up with their, their function. Uh, and of course we finish off with the carry handle again and another beach deck. All the hardware that's used to secure these, um, this outfitting is stainless steel so it resists corrosion. Other models of the Explorer you can get with a, uh, an aluminum rail which is a little bit lighter than the wood, not quite as pretty. Or um, with the Royal X boats, you can get it with a vinyl rail, which is extremely durable and carefree. The Explorer features a shallow V hull design. You can see that it's a V panel, so it creates that kind of a shape on the inside of you. 
the virtue of the shallow V is that it is the most seaworthy hull design. It has the highest final stability. It was originally inspired by the design of Viking ships, which Jim Henry you know, looked at when he was doing his design work and was kind of always amazed at how these small, you know, human-powered and sail-powered uh, vessels were able to cross the Atlantic Ocean in the stormy seasons and that kind of stuff, and he realized that they did feature a shallow V hull. Um, in keeping with efforts to be a versatile canoe, the boat has moderate rocker. It's got a little bit of lift in the end, so it can be turned. Uh, the shallow V can also be turned faster by leaning into the turn, and you put a flat panel half the hull on the water that also breaks the ends loose and spins a little bit faster. That is the kind of characteristics that gave the boat the ability to run the Grand Canyon. The Explorer also features a fairly deep, tall side to it. It's a fairly deep boat in keeping with its ability to carry both weight but also to be seaworthy in heavier seas. Uh, the sides are basically flat to a little bit of taper towards the top. That again enhances the dryness of the boat and the stability.